Well, what's going on, guys? So we're here for an educational episode of The Stomping Land. It is just me. And I figured I'd just uh, kind of cover everything. Um, everything's... I wouldn't say it's confusing. I mean, once you figured it out, you figured it out. But uh, it's kind of nice to just have it laid out. Uh, so we're going to go over the uh, few recipes that exist so far and uh, cover some basic information. Uh, so first thing you probably want to do is... Uh, set yourself up a teepee. It's uh, this guy over here, the like tent thingy. Right here. And uh, there's nothing you can really do with the teepee. There's no bed or anything. Um, you can inspect it. It says, you know, that's it's my teepee. Um, if it's someone else's, you can also still take it down. Um, then um, I think that's something you're going to keep. Uh, so, you know, if you leave your stuff unguarded for a while and people come across it, they can just kind of destroy your stuff. So, uh, but anyways, to make the teepee, and um, I'll probably, you'll probably see me throw up the uh, crafting recipes here on the screen, either after I show them all or as I'm doing them. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll figure that out when I'm editing the video. But yeah, so the, the teepee is going to be 10 wood and 4 stone. So you pile those all in, and then if you're wondering how to kind of get the door to face, the door is going to roughly face the direction you're looking at. So if you're looking up this way, the door is going to point that way. If you're looking down, the door is going to point that way. So when I did this, and I did on the angle, it was really tricky. I had to try like three or four times to get it on the angle. Um, but I was looking this direction as I was crafting it, and that's why the doorway opened up this way. So um, it seems to be kind of how all the crafting stuff works. The direction you're facing will be the main direction. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to give us an option to like rotate before you place, or if you can pick back up and place. Who knows? Um, game's still in early development, so that's something more for later. Um, but anyways, so yeah, next thing would be the totem, which is this guy right here. Now, with this, you can edit the uh, tribe info. Um, so you can change your tribe from nanonites, and you can also change the quote. Um, I forgot what that is off the top of my head, but uh, this part of the video, as I'm talking, I'll probably put it somewhere over in the uh, bomb corner here so you guys can see, uh, which is awesome. So we'll do that. Um, Wow, it's getting really dark. But anyways, to make the totem, it was going to be eight wood and two stone. So pile those together. Uh, same thing, you know, just uh, figure out where you want it, and boom, construct. Uh, next thing I'm going to hit up is the cage. So it's this guy right here. Right now, I guess all you can do is put people in it, but I guess that's not working completely yet. Um, but it exists. It's there. Um, and the cage is 15 wood and one stone. So it's actually fairly expensive. Um, then you've got your campfire or uh, fire pit. And it's a uh, two wood, two stone, so two two. Um, that's about it. You don't need to add fuel to it as of yet in the game. Don't know if they plan on doing anything like that, um, but that's kind of how that rolls right now. And uh, looks like I'm a little hungry right now. Eat some food. Uh, to people who might not know, and just starting the game, or you think you're getting on Friday when it comes out, um, to put more food on it, you're gonna have to turn it off, grab the meat, then you just uh, left click the meat. onto there and there's abrupt daytime which makes this a lot easier to show and then you can uh, start up the fire again as of right now we don't seem to take fire damage which is cool also if you notice this box was tiny a second ago and as soon as I used it, it popped up back to its size uh, they grow exponentially in size depending on what's in them but I know if you let them sit for a while they shrink in size I don't know if that's just a rendering thing or what exactly I uh, don't know if it serves a purpose but uh, yeah, that's that. There are two types of meat. Um, these are the small meats. You get these from like your basic little herbivores, that like the Gallimimus and the uh, Stigma Louch. Um, I'm thinking probably the smaller carnivores as well. I'm not entirely sure on that, like the Oceraptor. Um, he's not too big, so probably small meat. Um, but from killing the big guys, like the uh, Carnotaurus, Styracosaurus, uh, things like that, you get big meat, uh, which is going to fill you a lot more. Uh, a lot of times, see, I have to eat a couple of these for the little indicator to completely go away there on the right. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's kind of the two types of meat there are right now. Um, to cover a couple other recipes, um, I made one of each of the weapons, so we'll show the weapons here. Uh, first is the bow and arrow I'm going to cover since that's in my first slot. Uh, right now, there only seems to be one arrow. I do believe they plan on making different types of arrows. Uh, they had some really cool concepts, like a like a burning arrow that works as a flare to detect, like uh, to distract. Can't talk. Distract the big predators like the T-Rex and so forth, um, which is cool. Uh, ones that release a scent to help you with hunting. 
Um, also, you know, all sorts of cool stuff. I'm assuming a poison of some sort. And then um, I think there's, like, a whistling one, which is supposed to, like, help, like, herd away or get away. Or chase away, I should say, uh, herbivores. I don't know if they're planning putting that stuff in. That was all pretty early build um, ideas. Uh, so they showed some of them off in videos. They obviously don't exist now. So either that means they're not implemented the new system or they're just gone entirely. We'll only find out as the game goes on. But um, anyways, to craft the bow, you're going to be looking at five wood and two stone. Uh, it gives you six arrows. And you can make more arrows by having two pieces of wood, and uh, that'll give you another six. Uh, so that's pretty simple there. Uh, next, we've got the spear. Spear is pretty similar. Spear is going to be costing you five wood, two stone. Uh, the spear is a melee weapon. Uh, you don't lose it. You can't throw it. I know in some of the other videos I mentioned, oh, I thought there was a way to throw it. Well, there was originally a throwing disposable spear. They replaced it with this awesome melee one, uh, which I think was a good call on their part. Um, and, uh, like I said, this guy is, uh, five wood, five stone. You jab at whatever's in front of you. Pretty, pretty basic. You can fish with it. I don't have the patience to fish, but, uh, you can. And the fish stay stuck to it, and you have to come up to campfire to unspear the fish onto it. Um, you would select the same way and say, you know, add meat. Fire has to be off. Same thing as the meat. Um, and then, uh, the, uh, last weapon here is the bolas. Uh, it's your little ball in a sack with a rope and uh their main thing i guess is to uh trip up or like tie up an enemy right away they work on other cavemen as you'll see in one of the videos i did with fuzzy uh, he bowled me uh didn't hurt me it just tied me up so i'm not sure it doesn't seem to work on dinosaurs very well i've seen it do a little bit of damage or at least they made a noise when it hit them properly but i think it's like messed up hitboxes or something i'm not entirely sure but anyways, it does require a rope. If you don't have a rope, uh, two wood can make a rope. And uh, the bola is then a two additional pieces of wood and a stone. Um, and that gives you five. Uh, to refill it, it's like the uh, bow. You don't have to make another set of bolas. You just build another rope and you're set to go. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so that basically covers those. Um, the next thing I kind of want to uh, go ahead and cover was uh, how the expertise system works. Now you can hit Q and see who's in the game, it'll show you their expertise, and uh, ping. So right now I'm by myself, I am on a public server, there's just no one else here. Uh, my expertise right now is 122. Now what expertise determines is, uh, right now, is the uh, ability to tame certain dinosaurs. So with the expertise of 50, you're able to get a Gallimimus, which is the little derpy guys running around. Eh, best thing you could kind of uh, compare them to would be like a uh, emu or a uh, I don't know I guess you could say antelope but that's kinda like so far from it uh, there's one down there if you see him wandering around uh, they kinda remind me of ostriches emus kind of in a way um, probably because the noises too but anyways um, yeah they're gonna be 50 expertise uh, they get taken down pretty easy as you've seen in some of the videos uh, one hit from uh, the seg uh, stigma loach, and it just kind of just took us out. So they're not buff, but they're fast, which is cool. A um, hundred expertise is enough to go ahead and ride a stigma loach. So um, that is the horned guy. I'm probably gonna tame one real quick. Oh, uh, speaking of the devil, there's one right there. Um, so yeah. Um, they are pretty gnarly. They'll take you down to hits um, with their head, and they're pretty fast, so they'll rapidly hit you twice. You're pretty much done once they start to get you, unless you can pull out that spear real quick. You guys have seen me die pre plenty of times by that now. Um, they're fast, and they are super good at smashing things down. Uh, we'll have an episode out soon. Uh, Fuzzy and I record like a huge sesh, so I think it's going to be like episode 5 maybe or so. Um, where we both tame one, and man, his, he's just going around taking down all sorts of dinos with it, uh, like there's no tomorrow, so that was pretty fun. Uh, small dinos, of course. Uh, next thing you can tame is going to be the Styracosaurus. Uh, we kind of passed one by in the video. It's um, actually what most people know as the Triceratops, uh, which I guess now scientifically has been proven that the Triceratops wasn't actually a real dinosaur. It was actually a baby Styracosaurus, so it eventually grew more horns, a bigger crest with more horns on it and turns into one of those so i'm sure in our upcoming videos we'll come up close to one uh 
once we get brave enough to see the bigger dinos. Uh, supposedly, they don't aggro on you if you walk up to them, as long as you don't touch them. So we'll have to test that theory out, and <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see that in the future. But anyways, like I said, 200 expertise. Next thing would be the Ankylosaurus, which um, in the last episode, I believe you all saw um, take down Fuzzy. Uh, the two big guys, they've got the armored plates and the, uh, the uh, big club tail. Um, they, again, are herbivores, um, but they seem to aggro right away. They sure did on Fuzzy and me, so um, that would be the 300 expertise. Next thing would be the Carnotaurus. Um, you'll see one briefly in one of our videos. I don't remember which episode it is, but he's chasing another guy across the river. We avoid him abruptly because we didn't feel like being destroyed. Um, but uh, you can kind of think of it as a tiny T-Rex with horns. It kind of has like a... I think Carnotaurus really, literally means like bull lizard or something like that, if I remember properly. My Latin's kind of rusty. I haven't really I haven't been re hitting the dino books in years. Um, but I know a lot of you have also asked how I know so much about dinosaurs. I don't know a ton about dinosaurs. I used to, but a lot has changed over the years. Like the whole feather thing and how they're birds, mostly and more than reptiles and all of that. Um, I'm more old school knowledge kind of guy. Um, so I'm sure some of the stuff I know isn't quite accurate. Um, but anyways, um, he's 400 expertise. He is the top tier that you can tame. Um, and that's that, um, taking him down is quite a feat. So it's definitely worth it, but 400 expertise. So that's going to take a while, uh, because expertise is about, uh, it's I think one per 30 seconds. So every minute you get two expertise in game. Um, you can also kill people and you'll get 20% of their expertise when you kill them. So if you kill someone who has like a hundred, you know, hey, 20%, that's, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, also, if you discover the shrines, like you saw us in the videos and caves like this one here next to me, um, those will give you a bonus 20 expertise, uh, which kind of helps you boost up real quick. So uh, you might get lost in a cave, but it might be worth it. Hit three or four of those up and you're ready to halfway to get into Carnotaurus. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to head out to... Actually, I'm going to take a torch. We're going through this side of the cave. And, uh, oh yeah, that's one I didn't mention. Torch is uh, two wood. Um, pretty basic, I forgot to mention it, so. We'll uh, drop those together. So you can make a rope or torch. I would make a new rope to help replenish my bolas, but we're not going to do that right now. And uh, we're going to jump on down here into this cave. And, oh hey there, buddy. What are you doing in here? You're not supposed to be in there. Dinosaurs don't handle caves too well. That's uh, pretty apparent. <laughs> um, <laughs> you also can't build in caves. Uh, they purposely did that, so that's not a, oh, it's upcoming. Uh, right now, they just don't want people squirreling themselves away next to these guys here. So, uh, yeah. Read that up on the forums. You guys should check out the forums. There's some useful stuff on there. So, we're going to get ourselves as herbs. Um, if you haven't already caught on to it, you need these guys the healing herbs to revive your teammates if they're downed and i don't know why i'm doing this you just click on it so you don't hack at it you just write um well for me it's right click but you hit e it would be by default that's the action key um so anyways there we go we got two herbs so we're gonna head out the front here and see if we can find stimulush and uh, we'll tame them real quick and i'll kind of explain it um, how to ride a dinosaur. Uh, there's a few things out there you can watch. The devs did put out a short clip explaining it, which Fuzzy and I didn't watch, so we kind of feel like an idiot us running around trying to, oh, how do you do it? How do you do it? And then afterwards, like, oh, yeah, it's so easy. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, there's there's one right here. All right. Um, maybe there, guy. You're going to be our new friend. Oh! Oh! Oh, not good. Oh, oh, wow. Wow, failure. Absolute failure. Absolute failure. There is a bunch of them here. Um, I didn't think... He, wow, 135. That sucks. Um, I honestly didn't think he was going to, uh... Come around that fast. Well, <laughs> considering that's going to take, like, another half an hour to get that expertise back, um... Guess we aren't going to do that, so I'm just going to explain it. Uh, you can see Fuzzies in my video. I believe it's going to be my episode 5 or 6, uh, where we do figure out how to tame and ride them properly. Um, but basically, once you um, kill a dinosaur, you walk up to it with an herb, and you say revive, or heal, heal, sorry. 
and uh, it will come back and then you have a second to click on him you click on him and say uh, tame or ride right tame yeah don't choose the rope option it doesn't work yet uh, it's something they'll be implementing in the near future um, but yeah um, then hop on him and it's pretty much yours um, the way you control it is uh, you click so it kind of works like a horse um, so anyone who's ever rode a horse you would know you know you uh, pull on the reins or you click your heels that's what spurs used to be for of course no one really uses those uh, anymore well yeah, they do and they don't I'm, I'm not a big expert in horses so I'm not gonna go into it but basically to get it to go in a direction you're going to click your left click and the direction you want to go is the direction you're looking the W A S and D keys have nothing to do with it arrow keys have nothing to do with it, it it's solely the direction so if you're looking this way he's gonna go that way you're looking this way he's gonna go that way you want them to turn around you're gonna pan this way and they're gonna go that way but each time you want them to change direction, you're going to have to click. So it's going to look this way, click, look this way, click, look this way, click. So it takes a little bit to get used to. It's kind of funky. But um, once you learn it, it's actually really uh, fits it well. Um, so that's that. So uh, I'm going to cut here for a second. And I'm going to pull up an FAQ for you guys. Um, it's an official one off the forums. Anyone can go and look at it. It kind of covered some things that I know a lot of people are probably going to have questions about. So I figured ah, I might as well bring it up. So I'm going to cut real quick. We'll be right back with that. All right, guys. So we're back. And uh, I pulled up the FAQ. I decided to on my phone because it's more than one page. So I didn't want to kind of like all tab out. Uh, so we did that instead. And uh, basically... Why is... Oh, that's where I died. I don't have anything. <laughs> I was like, uh... Come here. We'll get you. Okay, anyways. Um, so yeah, the... the uh, questions here. Let's get some we're not going to get destroyed. See if we can work up enough time to uh, maybe at least grab a galley Mimus. And uh, someone join the game. Cool. Alright, hopefully I don't slide off of here. Um, all the rocks tend to seem to work like butter. Um, so one of the questions is, uh, will dinosaurs interact with one another? Um, and uh, they said, yes, of course. Herbivores will be chased by carnivores. The, the big guys will defend themselves, so forth. Um, so that is something they plan on working on. Uh, the AI for the dinosaurs is something big. Uh, that includes when you have one tamed, how it will behave with you, with your tribe's mates, um, and so forth. Uh, right now, uh, the, your tribe's members, Dino, will kill you. There's a chance. Um, so I asked them about that. They said it's something they're working on. But, uh, you know, if they feel threatened or so forth, they will attack you. So, you know, that's something to work on. The AI is a big focus for them um, from everything I've read, uh, which is cool. Uh, the other thing is um, a lot of people have been asking about the map size or map variance. Uh, right now, their answer is the map is big. <laughs> um, I love devs that give the questions like answers like that. It's always funny. Uh, it's hard sometimes to put an exact thing to it. Uh, especially when they're focusing on other stuff. But the main question was, will there be uh, expansion to it? Will be, there be other territories, other uh, biomes, and so forth? And they've said that they're probably going to do several different uh, default maps, and then, of course, eventually they'll open it up uh, to where people can make their own. Uh, so that's definitely cool. That's probably way off in the far future, but uh, it is plans, which is awesome. Um, the next thing, let's see, what do we got here? Some of these are like Kickstarter questions, which are kind of irrelevant at this point. Um, you know, what system is it going to be on? Right now it's only PC and Oculus, but, um, you know, uh, well, PC, Oculus, maybe, and, uh, that's kind of what they're staying. Um, the final price for the game, I believe, is twenty four ninety nine. um, but I guess that's not 100% official yet. Um, there is an offline mode. Uh, right now I am playing online, but there's an offline single player, so you don't have to play with other people. I know that's a big deal for some folks. Um, another big, uh, kind of cool question, there are flying dinosaurs. I've yet to see one. I think the only one that they have in the game is the Quetzalcoatlus. Um, it was one of the biggest flying creatures ever to exist. Um, and someone asked if you'd be able to tame and ride them, uh, which would be freaking awesome. What they have said is that uh, you can catch a ride on their back, but you won't be able to tame them. So I'm not sure what that means, but that sounds pretty crazy. Um, they're also saying that there's a wingsuit that's going to be implemented into the game. 
uh, that you can make to glide from high up places. Uh, the only high up place I can really think of is the volcano, which we haven't been to yet, so I'm not sure how well that's going to work, but hey, sounds cool. Um, pretty awesome. Uh, mounted combat, is that going to be a thing? Uh, yeah, that's something that they are working on. That's uh, what the answer is there. Um, will there be classes? Uh, shaman, berserker, things like that. Uh, will there be, you know, hunters, this and that? And they said no. There's no plans for classes um, in any way whatsoever. Um, of course, all things are lost when character dies. Um, right now, when you log off a server, everything you made leaves with you, and it doesn't come back when you log back into that same server. Uh, that's something they are working on, I guess. Um, they're aware of it, and they're going to tweak it. I uh, don't know how exactly, but uh, that was kind of the answer there. Um, some people might hear something about the hunt in addition to expertise. That's something old. It was in their early build, and it's probably something they're going to leave behind. Um, but it was originally a different system in earning points towards dinosaurs. Uh, so that's been replaced by expertise. Probably won't come back. Um, player customization. Now, it seems we'll all have the default body. Um, yes, there is a plan to most likely bring in a female player model because so many people have asked for it. Uh, at first it was a maybe, now it's a pretty much, yeah, we'll eventually put it in uh, from what I've seen. But the customization will be what you put on you. Uh, you can pull up leaves and berries. Berries can make paint. You can paint your body differently. Um, and then the leaves and twigs and sticks and stuff can be used as an armor of sorts. And I guess you can tweak it, make it your own custom look, you know, so no one looks the same. And they provide some protection against dinosaurs. Um, I guess the way they've put it is like a, a customizable personal ghillie suit. So I don't know if the protection means just uh, they won't smell and see you as much, or if it gives you physical protection like armor. I'm not sure. That hasn't been made clear. Um, let's see. Uh, what else we got here? A lot of people keep asking if the game's going to be free to play. Uh, no, it's a game. It's a regular game. It's not going to be free to play. Uh, that'd be horrible if they did that. But uh, they've said no, and there's no plans ever to. So, kind of a weird question, but a lot of people have been asking that. Um, and there's also no subscription. That's another question. Um, I, it's not really put out as an MMO, so I don't know why people are asking that. But, hey, you know, I guess it comes up. Um, uh, let's see. A lot of people are asking if they can still get a copy before the 30th, Then the only way you're going to do that is through the dev streams or giveaways. Uh, that's the only thing. Um, I think there's another one coming up, uh, well, this weekend. I don't know when this video is going up, so it might be over already by the time I put this out, but that's that. Um, let's see. I think that pretty much covers the basic questions and everything for now. Um, so... Yeah, uh, Mac and Linux support maybe after the game has officially come out. Uh, no plans for consoles. That's pretty much the only thing. So, yeah, um, I hope that answered your questions, helped you guys learn some things. Uh, sorry I wasn't really doing anything too exciting here. My guy was just kind of sitting there because I'm reading from my phone in my hand. Um, but, yeah, this video is more just for, you know, intentional education purposes. Um my expertise is 21, so that's not uh, quite enough to get guy like Malamus, So, Anyways, guys, then stay tuned for the uh, episodes with me and Fuzzy, and then as soon as the game comes out, we'll be adding more of the guys. I know Meaty's going to join us, and probably Royal and Star. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be awesome. We'll have a real tribe going on. We're going to take down some big dinosaurs. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like button, and don't forget to sub the show. The link is in the description below. Please do that. It helps me. The more people subscribe to the show, the more my show will pop up on the front page, more people will see me, and uh, the more people will know about this awesome game that needs more recognition. Um, I mean, it's known, but hey, you can always use more no uh, recognition, so it doesn't hurt. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll uh, catch you next time.